Welcome to All For You Kiss Tarot. We are back again with another channeled message for the collective. We are just going to jump right in and get started today. I'm going to let Spirit take the wheel and, and let Spirit pull out any messages they really want the collective to hear. All right, Spirit. What's for the collective today? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. What about this Ten of Pentacles? Hmm. Yeah. We have the Two of Cups. Something about having it all. I kind of feel like, now this did come out in reverse, but I'm not reading, I already kind of stated that I wasn't gonna read reversals today. Sometimes I just like to do that. Um, so the fact that this did come out in the reverse kind of lets me know that um, maybe this new beginning didn't happen for some of you. Um, I kind of feel like maybe we have a lot or we're comfortable in all the other areas of our lives, but when it comes to love and relationships, it seems to be that one area that's just not blossoming or not blooming is what I hear. So let's keep going. King of Cups. And I hear it's not for lack of trying. So I feel like you do put yourself out there. Maybe you're not completely open with your feelings. Um, you kind of hold them back. But I feel like when you're first meeting someone, you don't need to like dump all your feelings out, right? Um, but I just kind of feel like you feel like you're doing everything right. Yeah. I feel like it's wanting to have a partner that, you know, you feel this emotional fulfillment with. Um, you may be a parent, you might not, um, but I am noticing the children dancing there in the background. Um, so you may want someone to start something with, to start a family with, or to, um, you may be looking for something a little more serious what I kind of get from the King of Cups here with the the Ten of Cups. So, I hear I don't know where to go. You know what? I've got a really cool deck. Let me pull from that. I'm going to jump over here. Um, this is called the Places Oracle. So, because I just heard I don't know where to go. So you don't know where to go or where you might meet your new person. So let's find out. I kind of feel like I want to pull a couple of these. Okay, you could meet your new person at a tavern or a pub. Let's see. We're going to pull a, a, a couple of these. Where could the collective here meet their new person? Where might they meet their new person? On a ship? A cruise? Let's see. Where might... Oh, a coffee house, or going for tea, or coffee, or pastries. You might meet your new person at a casino. Where else could we meet our new person here? Uh, your living room? Oh, okay. I kind of just got some, I was so confused, and it's, it's kind of like that clarity came in right away. It's like, you have someone coming in to do some work on your home or your space, and that might actually be your future person. Interesting. Crossroads, multiple paths, turning point, divergent roads. Hmm. If you're at a crossroads in your life, or you could be walking to work and meet your person, or walking through the city and meet your person. Let's see. You can meet your person at a beach, on an elevator. I'm gonna get a couple more. Um, hmm. This is ominous shadows, but I don't really think so. I kind of got almost like a church or a religious place with that. So you can meet your person at the gym. All right, one more, one more. Yep, walking on the street. Okay, interesting. Very cool deck. Okay, so if we're looking for a person and we don't know where to look, you might just run into your person at any one of those places. 
let's see. Yeah, it, it's, it's calling on a bit of your strength. I feel like the non-movement in that specific area of your life, you know, wanting to be emotionally fulfilled or wanting to have someone to share it with can really kind of drag you down, especially when you feel like you can't find what it is that you're looking for. It's like you start to question if there is a person out there for you. And I feel like the answer is yes. Okay, so we have the devil card. What I'm kind of getting from that is you might come in contact with a lot of people who um, or a lot of potential partners that are really just in it for the lustful energy, um, adult time, and then on their way, you know? Um, and I feel like that's just not what you're looking for. We had that King of Cups energy with that wanting of emotional fulfillment, and this is not in any way, shape, or form emotional fulfillment. It's just like... Um, I was kind of seeing a pearl in one hand and an apple in the other. It's like the pearl is something that has longevity and then the apple is like something sweet for the moment. So, you know, you're looking for something more or who I'm, if I'm talking to you, you're looking for something more. I feel like there are a lot of options, um, but just not really what you've been looking for. So let's see. I wonder if we can, let's ask spirit. Um, when might this person be coming in? When might this person be coming in for the collective? We'll see if we can get some sort of answer here. King of Pentacles. I feel like when we have Pentacles, it is something, well, okay, so we look at this King of Pentacles. High value, right? High value person. Pentacles are always slower moving energy when it comes to the tarot. So this is going to be your high value person. You might have to wait a little while until you find that specific person. Um, let's see. Wheel of Fortune. It could be coming soon. It could be coming sooner rather than later, especially if you've been looking for quite a while or waiting for quite a while. Yeah, I feel like you will have a victory in this situation um, in your search for the right partner. Um, for some of you, it may be after you've actually almost given up or after you felt like you've given it all that you possibly can and you've just decided that you're, you know, you're not going to keep searching. Um, a lot of times we find... <laughs> We find love when we are not looking for it. Um, yep, and then that offer comes in. And I feel like that's what Spirit's trying to convey this morning is, you know, we could search here, there, and everywhere for that right person. But when the time is right, that person will come in. Um, we did look and see all these different places that you could come across your potential person. Um yeah, I just heard something about coffee, coffee. Um, yeah, this I feel like this is a slower moving energy that is coming towards you. Again, we have pentacles. Um, so we do have, you know, a, a decent size offer with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, somebody might be coming in and offering you, you know, just some kindness, some sweetness, and then an opportunity to go grab a coffee or go out to dinner or... Um, go out for drinks. Now, for some of you, now I'm kind of moving into new territory because I feel like this is something completely different. For those of you who are looking for a past person or a past person is looking towards you, I feel like they want to come out of the cold with you. Um, King of Wands energy could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. Could just be someone who is passionate and I heard logical as well. So they could be strategizing as to how to get back into your life and move things forward. Um, this person, let's see. Okay, it's how they're seeing you. I feel like they're coming in with a passionate offer or they want to come in with a passionate offer. They see you as this nurturing, um, stable, loving person. Um, yeah, it's like they want to put the work in. So maybe if before they couldn't put the work in for some reason, or, um, I hear they didn't have the time to put the work in. Um, 
this this king of wands here could have been building their own stability up or trying to further themselves in life before they went for a potential partner. I hear trying to do it the right way, so that's for some of you as well. But I do feel like now, for whatever reason that is, that they couldn't in the past, they want to put in the energy now. They want to put in the effort to grow something. Okay, let's see. What else can you tell us about this past person? Yeah, they're ready to move it forward. I feel like there is a sense of this chariot. Now, I did pull it out in the reverse. Um, so what I'm kind of seeing here is perhaps in the past, they didn't feel like they were moving in the right direction or they weren't having movement in the in the right direction. And this could have been in any area of their life. I, I just feel like the reason they didn't come towards you in the past or they weren't ready for you in the past was because they weren't ready within themselves in a certain area. And I guess that block that formed a blockage. Yeah, it's like wanting to become that stable nurturer in their own life. They may, may have been working on personal things, uh, personal growth, um, nurturing themselves before they step towards you, which is a really amazing thing to do. We like that, a healed person coming towards. Uh, yeah, they may have been healing some mental or emotional issues. Um, they could have been dealing with a loss or a breakup or a breakdown in their life. Um, I hear loss of a job, loss of stability. So it could have been any number of things, but I feel like they really needed to heal from that and come out, um, more balanced. Yeah. Oh my gosh. More balanced. Yes. Um, yeah, that's the goal. All right, let's pull another deck. Let's see, what else do we have? I like this deck. Let's pull from this one. All right, Spirit, either this story or a new one. What do we have for the collective? I feel like that is something. Loyalty. Um, Kind of getting a lot of you want to find someone who is loyal like you or who takes loyalty seriously. I hear for God's sakes. So I think um, it feels like it, a bit of frustration that's coming in with this loyalty card. Like I just can't find someone who looks at things the way I do. Um, yeah, again, we're getting that lusting energy that um, I get an energy that's in and out. That's more player energy. So it's like. Yeah, it's just that player energy coming in. And it's like when you're, I hear it's few and far in between. It feels that way when you're looking for a loyal partner. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to today isn't looking for just their very next person. They're looking for the right person. Um, again, I'm seeing the pearl and the apple. It's like something sweet for the now. And I, and I feel like a lot of the people you're coming across are just wanting that apple. You know, they just want something sweet in the moment. And you're looking for something, you know, valuable like that pearl. Um, so I get it. I, I feel like that is spirit's theme of this reading is saying they see you and they understand what you're looking for. Um, keep praying for what you want. Keep trying to manifest the type of person that you want. And I do feel like it will come in for you. Intimacy. Yeah, you want someone you can really form a bond with. Someone you can confide in and it feels safe to do so. I'm getting a scenario of a past person who I am hearing narcissist. So that type of energy um, you know, the levels of that are, you know, going to be different for each of you, but I'm kind of getting something along the lines of, I told them my secrets and they harmed me with those. Um, so they utilized those as ammo. Um, and I feel like we're not looking to make that mistake. I do feel like we've had a ton of healing in between since then. Um, but I do feel like that is still like kind of in the back of your mind and it may be creating some type of a block. There is a bit of fear energy in that. Um, but I feel like the majority of you have done the healing. I, I am seeing, um, 
a certain card from another deck that shows me that the healing is being um, either worked on or close to the end of that. So, oh, and we have healing. Okay, so we have healing here um, and releasing. Okay, Spirit. Super clear energy going on here. Um, yeah, Spirit's just saying the more you release um, from past toxic relationships and um, the way you can kind of do that is when you sit down and you think about a past situation and you're pulling up something that is hurtful or upsetting to you, look at it as not everyone is going to treat me the same way. That was this person. And why did this person do that to me? Well, were they unhealed? Were they coming from a place of hurt? Um, and did they sort of project that onto me? I think nine times out of 10, that is the type of energy that comes through. It's like, once you realize that people aren't really doing things to you, they're sort of just acting out the way they feel. You can kind of realize that it's not your fault and that you're not to blame. And I think a lot of times we go towards those people because we want to help them. We want to love them. We want to show them love um, like they've not experienced. But sometimes they're not ready for our type of love. And I feel like that's kind of what spirit is really saying. Um, some of them you may get into relationships with and they may show like they are ready. Um, but then, you know, the healing things sort of come up. So, you know, that... I feel like to look at it that way and to see that everybody is on a healing journey really um, will help release a lot of that that you're carrying with you. It wasn't something that you've done that caused this person to mistreat you in any way. It was really just them and how they were feeling on the inside just bubbling up and coming out. And you happen to be the de the collateral damage in, in that. Okay. Yeah, one day, one day, someday, another time, I do feel like something will be coming for you. Um, and I don't want to say this like it's someday far in the future. I feel like for some of you, it could be very soon. Um, I feel like it, if it is for you very soon, you've been waiting for a while. I feel like you've been waiting for that right partner. Let's see. Chasing. You may if it even... Um, tried to chase or not tried to chase but um saw someone that you thought had the right qualities for you and felt like you were in a game of chase trying to get this person to see you or to see your value um and I feel like that's another thing that's kind of like I don't want to say lowered your self-esteem but maybe yeah I mean in a, in a in a small way yes I do feel like it did um minimize how you were seeing yourself, you allowed that situation to change the way you saw yourself. And Spirit's kind of saying, don't do that. Um, that person had another place to be with another soul connection to run into, um, to learn their own lessons over there. You know, um, again, Spirit's kind of reiterating that it had nothing to do with you. It didn't have anything to do with your worth, your value. Um, just because someone doesn't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Okay, um, you have to be the one that looks in the mirror and sees all of your amazing qualities and what you have to offer. Um, you're the one that knows the depth of your loving heart and your good intentions, right? So spirit saying, hold on to that. Focus on those things. Know what you have to offer. And when that right person comes along, whether it's a divine masculine or you are a divine masculine, um, it will come in for you. I really believe that Spirit's just trying to say, like, don't give up. Don't lose faith. Um, heal those things that need to be healed. And I feel like your energetic other half is out there. We do have Divine Masculine and Apology. This could go either way. Divine Masculine, you could be receiving an apology from a past person. Um, maybe someone who's done you wrong in the past, or maybe someone who, um, couldn't give you that time. Maybe it's even the person that you felt like you were chasing. Um, they might say, you know, I had other places to be. You might get an explanation kind of about why that didn't 
work or why they didn't see you clearly for some. For others, um, divine masculine, you could be forgiving or, or getting gaining forgiveness from a divine feminine. Um, so it'll go either way, but I do feel like some type of apology is coming through um, or someone just may be asking you for forgiveness. This doesn't have to be in a relationship, um, like a, a love relationship. This could be in a family dynamic, a friend dynamic. I feel like whatever this apology that is coming in for you, I hear it's genuine, it's authentic, so you can trust that. I feel like you'll feel it if it is an authentic uh, person stepping forward. What else does the vine want to get out here into the open? Clinging. I want to know more before I speak on it. Yeah. Okay. This, okay, we're getting that come back around energy. Um, you could have a person coming back around that you were very interested in in the past. And um, maybe it felt like they did you wrong. I I don't think there were a ton of things going on in this situation. It kind of seems like a detached energy and why you might get an apology as to why this person was detached or felt detached from the situation. Um, it's like they were trying to put as much as they could in, but I feel like it, they had things that they had to take care of in other areas of their life at that time. So this person may be clinging to your energy and you may be feeling that or they're clinging on to the past and trying to hope that um, they'll get some type of forgiveness or be able to offer some type of apology. So it, it, something like that. We've got arrogance and pride. They may have been coming from a place of arrogance and pride. I feel like a lot of times when people come from this place, it's because they've really been through it. Um, and someone has really affected their ego or their pride. And when they're standing tall in that, it's almost like taking a stand is what I feel. Like they've been injured, so they're taking a stand. Um, and maybe not doing it in the healthiest of ways. So I kind of feel like, not so you can jump right in and say, okay, I forgive you. Um, or, you know. But I'm just saying, no. sometimes knowing where this pride comes from or this ego comes from this arrogance and stubbornness I feel like deep down if we just know that it comes from a hurt place we can be a little more compassionate towards others right um they could have been fighting battles that we we didn't know about um running yeah, running, ghosting, disappearing. This could be a situation where someone ran from you, ghosted you, and maybe even hurt your pride, um, made you feel like, or allowed you to feel like, you allowed yourself to feel like you were less in this situation. Because really, when it comes down to it, no one can make you feel a certain way. You, you have to be the one to allow that, you know? So if you were feeling a certain kind of way, because someone was running in a different direction and it kind of hurt your pride or your ego, um, you know, that's something you would have to heal within yourself. I don't feel like it has something to do with this person, right? Let's see, breaking point. Yeah, I do feel like you might get some sort of um, definite apology coming in, maybe and a little backstory of why this person left your life. I don't feel like it really had anything to do with you, although you might have taken it to heart. Um, and I've been getting this quite a bit through the readings. I feel like this is a divine partnership. Um, a lot of times, you know, they break apart uh, more than a few times to actually go and heal in different areas of their lives um, with other soulmates. Um, and that's part of the journey, right? Um, a soulmate might not be able to learn all of their lessons from you. And they would have to do that with other soulmates in between, right? So it, it kind of feels like that's this type of situation. So you may be dealing with a twin flame or high level soulmate um, where, you know, maybe they just couldn't be with you then. Um, they might be coming back around hoping to have another chance with you. 
here we go, new beginnings. Spirit's like rocking this reading today. Okay, let's see, is there anything else? I heard blackbirds, so I'm gonna do this one. Little deck here. Um, is there anything else you wanna tell the spirit for this collective here? This beautiful collective that need, might need just a little bit of guidance. Clover, luck. I hear your luck is changing. So your luck could be changing in this situation. Something about a child. Inner child, inner child healing. Someone could have walked off in another direction because they were having a child with someone else. Um, so that could be for some of you as well. And that might, might not have been public knowledge. Um, I don't feel like this child was really planned. If that's the case, yeah, all kind of hazy. I feel like it wasn't public knowledge. That might be part of what comes in. Yeah, it might have been a tower moment in their life. Yeah, It might have actually, okay, so you know how I say roundabout blessings? Um, well, this might have been a roundabout blessing in this person's life. I feel like this tower movement, whether it was a child or not, I do feel like for the majority of you, um, your divine other half went off to learn lessons with someone else and may have had a child in that relationship. Um, I feel like that was something that was going to help them. So that tower moment may have slowed them down in life and helped them learn the things that they needed to learn. Maybe a touch more responsibility or just to kind of ground them down a little better. And I feel like, I feel like it slowed them down in the way that divine needed them to, to grow and heal. Um, so I feel like, you know, it's all divine design. It was all for great purpose. Um, yeah, again, I hear roundabout blessing. Yeah, they may have had to go through um, a difficult situation. They may have lived with this person, um, may have started a family and a home and, you know, a whole living, you know, a whole situation going on here. Wow, I can't, th it's so hard to think when I channel. Okay, um, I feel, yeah, I was kind of getting that. I, I felt like this was a heavier situation. Um, they may have been married, might not have, might have just had like the, the living situation. Um, I do feel like this was painful, a painful growth situation for this person. It may have been a very toxic dynamic. Um, I feel like they may have even had to be, whether it's mama bear or papa bear, had to be very protective over this child, if that's the case. Maybe that's why they didn't want to run out of this situation. Maybe they didn't want to leave the child in a very toxic situation with uh, the other toxic parent. Um, so that's for some as well. Yeah, I hear that's the key. Um, and they had to kind of be sly about it. I feel like this was a situation that they were not happy in. I hear um, toxic habits and um, I don't want to say narcissistic parent, but it's a possibility um, where toxic habits were involved and those toxic habits came um, first, you know, above the, their partner and above the children or child or children. And then their crossroads came where changes had to be made. Yeah, in order to create happiness and love. Yeah, happiness and love. Um, yeah, in that situation. So you may get some sort of an explanation by someone coming back around to you. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting. Let's see, is there anything else? Did I use these? I don't know. All right, I'm going to pull this aside. I'm going to do one more little bit with this deck. And we'll see if there are any other stories that Divine would like to pull forward. And then we'll pull some letters and some charms. So anything else Spirit wants to share? Yeah, the birds. It says, brief sorrow, temporary misunderstandings. The clouds, difficulties, problem and obstacle. 
again, I kind of feel like this is carryover energy. It's like trying to explain your story. In a way, I kind of feel like I'm seeing the Queen of Swords and I'm getting like this. The sword is kind of in the hand here and they've got their hand open like this. So they're welcoming knowledge to come in, but don't get too close. It's like, and maybe they feel like that's your energy in this situation. Like they might not get the opportunity to have the floor to explain to you what's going on. Do I think they maybe had feelings for you in the past? Absolutely. Do I think they felt a connection with you in the past? Absolutely. Do I think they couldn't get to you for a, a number of reasons? Yes. Um, and I kind of feel like where they're at now, if they're coming back around or planning on coming back around, they, they, it's like almost like they're stressing about having to tell you this story and, and how and why to get you to understand. I feel like they really want to um, clear the air with you because I think they realize that they really hurt you. And I feel like that was not the intention. Um, so that's what I'm kind of getting in this situation. I hear not, not my intention. Um, it's like I heard things went awry. The moon, work, profession, career, success, uh, subconscious feelings. Yeah, that, that may have been another thing. I mean, they could have been working hard to, you know, support a family or support a child or support a, sp okay, for some of you I'm hearing, support a codependent spouse. Um, so that m might have took up a lot of their time and their energy. Um, so that could have been another reason that things kind of were on hold in this situation. The mountains, worry, sadness, hostility. Yeah, I do feel like they're trying to explain that their environment was very hostile or very, um, I hear volatile. Um, so whoever this is for, I feel like there are going to be variations of this story. Um, for some of you, it is this extreme about this person who never came your way or, you know, made you feel like you weren't what they wanted. I think you were what they wanted all along. It's just they couldn't get to you. Um, they were just, I hear, embroiled in other situations in their life and trying to, I guess, bring balance to it, trying to really find the cross. Narrowing, lessening, reduction, slow down, uh, frugal, and a time of gloom. Yeah, I, I feel like this was a very rough time. You may be getting that explanation. Or if this person doesn't come back around and you're not allowing this person back in, I feel like there are a small few of you who have completely moved on or or on your way there. This may have been the story, so it might provide a little clarity um, for you in your heart space so you can heal the rest of that and move forward. Um, for others of you, I feel like for the majority of you, it's just letting you know that there were I think very concrete reasons why this person could not um, come towards you. And I hear for a lot of you, it was because they didn't want to wrap you in this very difficult situation. I feel like they almost wanted to protect you from themselves and what they were going through. So that's for others of you. I feel like the wish, the hope, the dream was you, um, but um, they just couldn't get to you. And I feel like is still you. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's see, one more. Let's close this down with one more. The house, private life, father figure, and prosperity. I feel like maybe they're hoping for a new situation where they can feel at home, they can feel loved. And I think they see that it could be possible with you. Um, so look out for that. Again, I'm hearing the two waves. So um, Spirit keeps giving me these two waves of soulmates coming back into a union. That could be coming towards you anywhere from now until um, holiday, Christmas time, um, or from now until uh, spring around Easter-ish time. So that's what I'm getting, the two waves of energy. Okay, I feel like that's that for now. We're going to shut that down. Let's pull, let's pull some of these. Okay, spirit. 
their initials, your initials, dates, specific numbers that remind you of this person. A letter P could be specific. It was kind of trying to stand out. The number seven as well. The seventh, this could be seven days, seven weeks. It could have been eight months, I hear, for someone else. We've got a lot of O and double zeros and a lot of that. Okay, an A, an I, a T wanted to stand out, a W or an M, an I, an H, M, and a K. That P again. Okay. I feel like that's what we have this time around. I feel like I could pull just a little more. I don't know why. Okay, just a little more. Okay. C, an E, a W, an M, and an X. Okay. I feel like that's right. So I'll leave that for a moment. Okay, I'm going to sweep that aside. Okay, let's pull some charms. So these charms could have something to do with the reading or could be completely different messages. We'll just let Spirit have the floor. All right, Spirit, what do we want to get out there for this collection? Okay, transformation right off the bat. Um, and this is the big butterfly too. I feel like there's been a lot of transformation happening. Probably not only in, um, if we're looking at the reading, that person's life um, and healing. I feel like there's been quite a bit of healing as well. Um, they may have a really great support network um, or this is you. You've had a lot of healing and growth and you have a really good supportive uh, unit around you. Um, I feel like the key was really just, oh, okay. I'm hearing the key is to really clean up this situation. So whether it's the situation in the cards or um, something else that you're going through, I feel like Spirit's trying to say the key is to clean up this situation, to heal and transform this situation. Um, lean on those you love, um, friends, family, and uh, or significant other if you have a significant other um, lean on them to heal these different situations in your life I realize not everyone is looking for a partner some of us are just looking for other areas of our lives so we have something about stability coming in so new stability a new foundation to grow upon um, is coming in or is being ushered in and I feel like by spirit itself um you could be, um, there could be a marriage soon. Somebody could be getting ready to get married and we're pulling two families together and creating a larger family tree. Um, that's really beautiful energy that's kind of emanating here. Now we have heart healing. Um, and I hear love a nurse. So there could be a nurse out there listening. Uh, and I feel like you're being... I guess you're just being highlighted for the hard work that you put in. Thank you for that. Really beautiful energy there. And I feel like something about working on self to heal a, a deeper inner wound or a childhood wound. And I feel like it's been slow going and you're being commended on your work. And hook, line, and sinker is what I hear. This little heart. It looks like a, a fishing, fishing could be significant for someone. You could like to fish. Um, I feel like you have caught their attention um, and not only caught their attention, but held their attention. And I feel like if they hadn't realized it before, they're realizing it now. It's like seeing you as being an equal or an other half. Um, there's that glow up energy again with the dingle hopper. <laughs> Um, so that is coming in. So that could be another energy being ushered in. It's more of this glow up energy and that could be in any area, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, vibrationally. There could be travel involved, um, for you or your person or family visiting or visiting family. Um, and now we have the little twin flames. Yeah, I was getting that energy from the reading, high level soulmate, twin flame energy. I do feel like with that energy in the cards, it was like 
almost like it just wanted to keep pouring out of me and with like intensity. So it's like this person really wants you to understand that what was done um, in the past was not intentional um, and was not meant to hurt you. And I feel like maybe that's the way you took it. Like you just weren't good enough. And I feel like the fact that they hurt you hurts them. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting from that energy and why there was such a intense feeling like wanting to just push that message out and really have you hear it and really have you feel it and understand it. Um, I feel like you'll know if that message is for you. Okay, I feel like that is what we have today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to become part of the Afiyukas tribe. As always, it's an honor and a blessing to read for each and every one of you. Thanks again. Bye.